Good morning and welcome to Studio 5. We are going to officially declare the January doldrums are over and behind us. You are know? you sure? <laughs> <laughs> it's freezing cold out there. It is so cold. The wind this morning. Oh. It was garbage day in my neighborhood. The garbage cans were flying around. So to me, that signified winter might still be here. Yeah. And I switched over to riding the bus again today. And? Nice day to stand out of the freezing. bus stop waiting for the bus. It was freezing. My eyes were tearing up. I was crying because the wind was blowing. It was cold. But don't let those tears get you because Darren has declared the winter doldrums over. They so. are over. They are over. <laughs> we are on to February. Today, of course, the first day of February, and that means it's a whole new month and yes. time to celebrate love. It's time to bust out the red and the pink, all of those white decorations, and also bake a batch of sugar hearts. But seriously, it's not just romantic I love, but every you. aspect of love. So we ask the question, what does celebrating love really mean? I love you, I do. I love you, I do. I love you, love on the big screen. It's a romantic and elaborate celebration. Like jumping on top of a speeding car just to prove true affection. I love you. I love you and I knew it from the first moment. But does celebrating love always need to be such an extravagant display? I think the best way to show love is paying attention to the details and, and small things matter. About something more simple, like sharing spaghetti over a candlelight dinner or a romantic slow dance under the stars. Wasn't it the Beatles who said, All you need is love? I, I don't know if that's all you need, but I think it's a lot of what we need. I think it's a lot of why we're here on this playing field called Earth, is to really learn how to love. L is for the way you look at me. This month, we want to get past the chocolates and roses to the core of what celebrating love means to you. Love is you getting up in the middle of the night to get your partner some aspirin because she has a headache, or getting up in, in early to help your husband get to work and make lunch. That's love. Love's every day. It's consistent. It's not a holiday. Love takes no holiday. Take whatever or whoever it is you truly love and celebrate it. Why not learn to flirt? I think the definition of flirting is really just making somebody else feel good. So whether it's a small child to an older grandparent, why not do something every day that makes somebody's path a little brighter, a little lighter, a little more loving? Celebrate more than just one day a year or even one month a year. Love is worth a lifetime of celebration. It's truly embracing your partner for who they are. Knowing they're not perfect, knowing that the meatloaf's still dry, knowing that the, he still leaves his clothes on the floor, and yet you'll have no one else. To me, that's celebrating love. We had to choose February to celebrate love. Yes. But it's more than just like pinpointing Valentine's. It's more than just like that romantic love. There are all sorts of ways to celebrate love this month, and we're going to look into all those we're things. We're going to take it deeper. And like Liz said, you can flirt with anybody at any yeah. time. I yeah. mean, learning to play up that feeling of love and to celebrate it in full fashion. The new Studio 5 theme, Celebrate Love, would be lacking without a dose of, shall we say, projects that help you celebrate love. We are all over that. And kicking us